Hi everyone, just a real quick video to show you a couple of uh, items that I altered. This one right here is a little wooden chair. I found this chair at the Goodwill store and I made a stick pin cushion out of it. And um, it was a lot of fun. Here's a picture of what it looked like before I altered it. It has a, a little clay pot in there. And um, just turn it around here real quick and give you a glimpse of it. There's the front, there's the side, and the back. And as you can see, I used a lot of Spanish moss. This is the first time I ever tried my hand at crackling. I think it is so cool. I've seen lots and lots of videos of people doing the crackling process. And I've got some of that crackling stuff to make it. But the latest video that I saw was Jane at Velocity Vet 08, and she used uh, Elmer's glue, which I thought was cool. And uh, God, Jane does some awesome projects. So um, I just deci decided to try the Elmer's glue on this little chair. And uh, as you can see, we got lots of crackling going on here. And I wanted to give it a rustic look. I used burnt umber as the bottom base for the crackling and then um, linen for the top coat but I toned it down just a little because I wanted a, a little more rustic look instead of real bright and um, all the flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts and I have a little straw hat there on the back and one of those little vine wreaths as you can see found some of those little items at a yard sale they're so darn cute I stuffed the top here and topped it with some lace and added some vintage trim around the side and I have a little piece of fabric here that I ripped and made a bow with some little twine and some more Spanish moss and I tucked Spanish moss, you know, all around different places and uh, to give it a rustic feel. Here's a little fabric that I cut and raveled and just laid over like a little arm pad. And another butterfly here that I fuzzy cut out. And let's see, of course, stick pins there. Here's the other side view. And I just tied a little piece of twine right here on that side. And this is the back. And um, the clay pot that was in it, I, I covered it with some book pages, Mod Podge, some book, book pages over that, and just run a little paint over that. And I have some Spanish moss and some uh, little twine wrapped around the base of it. And then I just use uh, Distress ink over the edges there to distress it. Okay, that's one of them that I did. And then another one that I made is this uh, little jar here that I altered. I needed a pin cushion for my sewing machine. And um, this is one of those plastic jars that you can buy. It has those little jelly beads for a room deodorizer. And I like the style of it. And so uh, I just uh, altered this. I covered the base of it first with some gesso. And then I used some of this yarn right here that I got at Walmart. It was cool looking. Pretty. And I cut this top part off. And then Mod Podge the rest of this all around the base of this jar. And you can see right here, it uh, gave it a nice look. And then some, it gave some texture right here. And then I just uh, trimmed it out with some beads from my stash. And this brown trim here is, uh, well, it's kind of beige looking. I got, the, got that at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's such pretty trim, got that on sale. And this beautiful trim right here on the corner, uh, this came from Annie Miss Garden Grove store. So pretty. 
and then the front I gathered some fabric here and uh, add a little bloom and a little bling in the center and just added a little flower on the back and is I just use it to keep my straight pins in real handy it's cool and I had uh, made one of these for my sister and uh, I had already sent it to her but I also made a wall hanging to match it that she could hang up in her sewing room and the wall hanging is made out of uh, fabric and I put uh, two or three pockets I don't have it here to show you but I got a couple pictures it's got uh, pockets on the top and a large pocket on the bottom and I just trimmed it out with all the same types of beads and colors that I used on the pin cushion so that you know they would match and uh, it turned out pretty nice and she really likes it so uh, yep that's what I've been doing and I've had a good time making these little pin cushions and I hope you like it y'all have a great day thanks bye bye